publish it. No, knowing all that, I want you, Vance, and everybody watching at home with the player cam, look at how big Ido's <laughs> smile is when he plays K. Rool. I've watched Ido for years in NorCal, just smacking everybody down. Back in Smash 4 with Meta Knight, a character he really pioneered. I have never seen him so happy to play a video game than when he <laughs> plays as K. Rool in Smash Ultimate. Play who you want and have fun with it, man. Especially like, if you can take the character to great lengths here. I mean, that being said, getting infinite? Oh, no, never mind. I feel like he might have missed input on that. On that. That's going to let Ido get away a little bit stock free there. Scot free, rather, but maybe stock free. And already Ido's tossing out that crown. Just refreshing Gakpo's memory. Hey, remember Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2? Do you remember how you beat <laughs> K. Rool in those games? You wait for the crown toss. Bounce on K. Rool's head, or wait for the blunderbuss, toss in a cannonball into that sucker. Oh, and the armor from the belly, not even enough because he slips in the banana the last second. Good parry from Dakpo. I love that, just armoring through the banana on those way down, but of course Dakpo in far too much control for any of that nonsense to matter. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the armor that K. Rool has, it does take up to a certain percent, but it'll actually break, and it'll amount for the same thing of being dizzy in a shield break. Right, it's it's purely a percent based thing, not a number of hits. Thing. Yeah, it is. I believe thirty or thirty five percent somewhere in that range. I want to say thirty three. Got Zacko keeping things going right there, but Ida waking up with himself a uh, the counter reflector move that carol has got that down special. And so I like good. it too, he's making sure that he's not letting Dakpo even have the smallest of the banana throw. He's yeah. going to armor throw, he's going to armor through it. Dakpo once again looking for that crash into the ground with the rocket barrels. Nice, I like how he kind of pulled himself back after that empty hop, looking to probably get a forward air or an aerial from there. He throws this man off to the ground and gets the up air. Right, I mean, he anticipates Dakpo mashing out as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. Gets himself the earliest killing hitbox he can for a Diddy popping up. Here we go, getting himself a throw, but the banana already stopping Ido's offense. But El Croco Blanco doesn't know when to really fully stop. Gonna toss out a few cannonballs. And not really contest this whole wall of peanuts. Just kind of recognizes the banana for what it is, which is the limitation on Diddy's options. Keeps himself spaced out with some hitboxes between it to catch the monkey flip if it ends up coming out. Yeah. And ultimately and puts himself in a good position. And I like how he always tosses in the crown, and it goes that little bit of a low length, so if Dagbo tries to go for an edge guard, that he has to put, hold shield for that crown. Mm -hmm. Buying Ido a little bit of time. Oh, tries to spot dodge the down tilt, but the next one just goes ahead and catches the shins right after. I mean, I holding onto the stock at 174%, really showing how hard Dakbo has to work to find kills with Diddy Kong. Nice. I like the fact that Idol actually tosses out the winner bus, takes the time to go in on Dakbo. I, I feel like that was. That, that definitely put him at the risk that let Dakbo find that stock, though. Yeah. Because he jumped into that center stage. I mean, eventually you do need to take some sort of chance if you want to even things up. So, it is what it is. Yeah. It's still, I actually still like the fact that Ido even goes for it too as well. He's looking for that to cover his movement and go for an option. Oh, the I see what you're saying. Yeah. Well, but the problem here is, like you said, right, going for an area, that was going to sense that out. Ooh, catching him out of the down smash. Dakbo in a fantastic position, looking to two stock Ido, putting his screw at a fantastic place. That's really the question for Ayo at this point, it looks like. It's just, can you make sure to take Dakbo's second stock? That's huge, right? Because Dakbo, I feel like, is going to be the strongest Diddy on his crew, because I can't think of any dedicated Diddy main that's going to be out there. Yeah. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, case. Unfortunately, we lost the most valuable Diddy here, but Dakbo will make up for it. He's going to litter that banana. He's just use it to catch the, the jump get up. Nice, that's something at the ledge. I like the Z drop there with the banana. Mm -hmm. I'm buying Ido for time to come back on the stage, but unfortunately slipping up and falling in a Dak post forward smash. Yeah. Honestly, uh, Ido's K. Rule is definitely up there in terms of one of the strongest K. Rules just in the world. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting to see that both of these crews just open with their strongest players oh. to go into it. I feel like I feel like it's kind of one of those things like send in the strongest. 
and then see how the week will try to catch up to it. But like, this looks like a crew of all Diddy characters and all all Kremlings, right? All, all yeah, K rolls. All K rolls. So like, the counterpick meta doesn't really matter. <laughs> you're right. You're so right. <laughs> we got ourselves Louis Money. Oh, I was like, I was like, oh, he's going. He's <laughs> oh, all right, all right. He's not like, going to weigh into this. I was like, he's going up. Uh, all right, man. Uh, uh, I was, I was confused. I'm like, wait, Louis Money? Louis has a K rule? What? I was going to say, please tell me he doesn't. To my knowledge, he didn't, <laughs> yeah. but, like, apparently NorCal's changed since I left. He did. <laughs> oh, you left NorCal? What? Yeah, I moved to Reno. I thought you, I told you this. Oh, yeah, you did. You said, <laughs> that like five, you said that, like, half an hour ago, and I already lost it. Vans, Vans, stay with me here, buddy. I, I'm sorry, man. We had such a tremendous amount of singles action going on that I got caught up in it. I, I honestly was so happy that we got to, like, finish off, like, some of the singles' yeah. top 20, uh, 128 qualifiers. Because those were some lit matches. I mean, getting to see such, Nico, such caliber already. Just to get into 128. The two GG sagas are terrifying. Yes, they have. They have always been terrifying battlegrounds where just some of the best players in the world come out here to leave pools from loser side. Yeah, they are a true test of one's resilience as a player, but of one's strength and knowledge of matchups. I mean, we saw yesterday at the, at the free local right? We saw how Ketchup was able to. Three star gluttony. You know what I can never forget? Abadongo Saga. Mm -hmm. Abadongo himself dropping down to losers because he had the unfortunate fortune to be put into pool B7 against B7 Gaming. Games. Dr. Mario. The legend, dude. The legend. B7 like, Games, dude. Who would have thought it? A guy named B7 Games, Dr. Mario, in pool B7. And like sending. Abba, who had been doing so much insane work that summer, into losers. Like, that, I mean, there's so many more moments. Hyrule Saga. Yeah. With MK Leo sent to losers mm -hmm. in round one pools. Again, like, it just Ele happens elegant over and over again. Elegant at the championship. Last chance qualifier. Okay, he tore through the last chance yeah. qualifier. To tore through the, um... The, the next round right afterwards to make him into the top eight. Oh my gosh, there's yeah. some crazy stuff that happened. That's and, and, like, and that's why I wanted to give a shout out to Elegant back in Smash 4, right? Because we talk about how hard the tournament is, and Elegant was one of those players who had to tour through it he, just to get into last, you know, the last chance qualifier. Like, we talk about losers as the losers bracket as the long road. Mm -hmm. He took like the longest road because oh, he had dude. to get through the last chance qualifiers to get into the losers bracket ish. Of, the, <laughs> and of even, the next step. Yeah. And then he still made it past that into everything else. It was nuts. That run was definitely one of the greatest runs out there in Smash Bros. Absolutely. But of course, Elegant is up here. We have ourselves the Kremlin crew saying their next player up. Unfortunately, don't recognize him by his face, but he's got a jersey, so I know he's good. <laughs> that's always that's always my idea. Does he got a jersey? All right, but he must be good. You know, he's somebody somebody paid to put a shirt on his back as he played in bracket. You know he's got to be good. But Dakbo on his last stock. Looks like Kirby Kid. This is Dag. All right. I'm glad they're wearing Dagbo's, their tags. What? I'm glad they're wearing their tags, man. Some yeah. people wouldn't wear their tags. They actually wear their waifus. I'm trying to tell y'all how to live your life, man, but thank you for letting me know who you are. Zachbo, <laughs> <laughs> uh, w whenever he's got platforms in town and city, he's looking like, looking like he wants to stick to them, especially because he only has one stock to work with, and he, if he can take a stock off of Kirby Kid, he's put his own crew in such a tremendous liquid position. Yeah. If you are opening for your crew Ooh. in a crew battle and you take four stocks, that lead alone wins entire crew battles like 5v5 10v10 yeah like just That's being true. able to give your yourself that full counter pick advantage means a lot it's such but a hill to climb. kirby kid doesn't let him have it no. goes ahead and chases down that rollback with the dash attack evens up the damage of losing uh ido in that first round mm -hmm. essentially putting things dead even between buff diddy and the kremlin crew i mean like i said man somebody believed in this kid enough to give him a jersey and a name to wear on his on his chest he had to get something what, there. What, what, what side are you feeling right now? Are you a Kremlin or are you a Kong? Choose Kremlin. a side. Where I, I have suffered at the hands of Diddy Kong for for three to four years. I'm a Kremlin too. I, I do not want to see that character buffed ever again. 
I don't want to get ding donged ever again. You know, you know what the beauty of Smash Ultimate was? You know how they rebalanced Diddy? It was the most elegant thing. They yeah. listened to Diddy Kong mains, and they just gave him the weaknesses they claimed he had in Smash 4. I feel like that's why every top player says their character sucks. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, <laughs> he just listens like, you think he's bad at this. We're gonna make him bad at this. We're gonna make <laughs> him have a hard time killing. So you know what that's actually like. Bless you, Sokka. Yeah. Bless you. <laughs> like, it, it, it was honestly the truth. And Diddy Kong Mains got very mad when I said that. I was like, how dare you point out the truth? Like, you know right. like, and they knew that, like, yeah, we, we oversold our character's weaknesses, and this is what those actually feel like. <laughs> this is what it feels like to have an edge, to have a recovery that means you literally die to any tap off stage. That's what he started this game with. That's that's my my one two minute. I hate Diddy Kong speech for a tournament. I get one every single event. I. I'm going to try my best not to say it again. I'm, I'm telling you right now, man. As I'm going to fail. As somebody, as somebody who agrees with you on that one, when's the TED Talk? When's the TED Talk? <laughs> when's the TED Talk? Yo, hit up my Patreon. I will gladly give that TED Talk any day of the week. Just let me know if they come with Polaroids or not. Well, let's get into, <laughs> let's get into this game. <laughs> I mean, so far, right, like you said, the Kremlin crew even losing Ido at the beginning here, but... The Diddy's lost Dakbo. They both yeah. lost their, their star players. The most famous ones, anyway. All Other right. than that, these guys are just kind of playing a projectile war center stage, but it is the buff Diddy team, the Diddy Kong. They just pick up the most of the percent right now. And I love how that crowd kind of caught him right back up, and Kirby Kid was right there to capitalize. I don't want to say this man is mashing, but I felt like he pressed every button he could to make sure Diddy was not going to land. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him, man. I don't blame him. I mean, it, it's looking a little bit wild for the Diddy in order to hit his ground, right? He went from 20% to 111. Yeah. Trying so hard, even pulling out those rocket barrels more than once, and yet King K. Rool is ready to deal with it. Kirby Kid doing some good stuff. Even if he loses his stock, he got it. Diddy Kong up to 120%. He can take the next stock right afterwards. This is fine. Yeah. Just find yourself that forward air right about now. You're gonna even it up. And that's all you need to find yourself some value. Nice, he kind of stops him from moving here by throw tossing in the crown. Able to armor through with that neutral air. Mm -hmm. Nice, and he sets up for the new chair as well. Nice! Good way on his way back down. That that suction end of the blunderbuss is so good for catching people trying to prematurely lead trap. Yeah. They already are throwing up their shield and it gets sucked right in and tossed off the side. Alright, Kirby Kid has to get a landing here. Finally, four throw. Sets up the blunderbuss against also the suction. That was that was 27%. With yeah. between between the cannonball and the suction right afterwards. Shotgun's hurt. <laughs> Cannonball's hurt even more. That's like nearly a medieval era shotgun. Like, yeah. Can you believe it? Pirates used that thing. It worked. It did. It tears <laughs> apart the ship that you're fighting on. A little bit of naval history for you guys. Some I, I think it's, that's post-medieval for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, it's, it's post-medieval. Some of the pirates actually used to have two cannonballs on no. the blunderbuss, and they would attach it to a chain because the damage was wider that way, because it would swing through. I, I got to talk history with you. I'm curious what era <laughs> that actually is in, because that sounds wild. Yeah. But in the meantime, Diddy taking that second stop. Like everybody else, man, I learned history from playing Assassin's Creed. Oh, <laughs> that all makes sense now. I was just messing with you. I was messing with you. All right, anyways, neutral right here to cover the landing. Good wall jump, too. Really sensing that out. He got it. Yeah, he got it. Kirby Kid still has a little bit further to go, though. If you can take out, you know, 190 right here and put Krem Kremlin Crew in that official stock league, that would be so great. Oh. And he did. He did. All right, Kirby Kid. I wanted to say that was more commentator's blessing than curse. Like we said, man, we're both in the Kremlin crew. Yeah, we are. We are. You guys know where our alliances fall. I mean, who can say no to a charismatic leader like that? Painting <laughs> his belly, just solid gold. He looks he, out for his people, man. He really does. You know He's what? He's upset. You know what? It, DK is the real villain. He stole his bananas. He said you can't have them all. 
Well, I mean, he, he took DK's bananas, but it wasn't just a matter of wealth distribution. It's a matter of health distribution. Yeah, true. You gotta go ahead and spread those loves of the, the bananas across your people, especially when you have scurvy and all those other things happening. Out in the ocean, you're, man, you need those vitamins. You, you, yeah, your people are low on that. You gotta get the, the right berries, and that's what bananas are. They are actually berries. I actually didn't know that. Yeah. I had never known that. I, I know as far as the next person knows, like a tomato is actually a fruit. I, that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I, I did not even picture to think a berry was a banana. A banana was a berry. Yeah. That that's the important thing that I studied for this event was what a banana <laughs> technically is. So it is a berry smoothie every time they put banana strawberry. Now I know. It's a double berry. Double berry smoothie. Yeah. I never knew. The more you know, dude. I'm gonna go to bed tonight just thinking about that like that. I'm gonna have berry. This is communism. Guys, fellas, if you don't know about Cantrip and his Twitter account, you need to follow that as soon as possible. Communism is the funniest Smash account, period, consistently. Absolutely nobody else competes with him. If you don't believe me, if you need to pull up his history of tweets, the amount of fire he tweets out, like, tell, tell me and the lovely people what his Twitter ad is. At communism. At communism? Kong-munism. kong, -munism. kong -munism. Yeah. Cantrip stuff is just absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, getting hit by that back air is uh, definitely putting a, a bit of a damper in it. But I know in his ability to make things just come together in a great way. And I already see Vance. He pulled up the Twitter. It's He's actually, actually, actually dying fire. so it's much right it's now. It's actually fire tweets. I'm not going to lie. It, it, like, <laughs> when I said he is the funniest smasher, like, he is actually in contention for funniest smasher, period. He, he might be giving Sylvanas, like, you know, I mean, they might be tied up. He, he doesn't do skits. He does written humor. But yeah, it's yeah, very, yeah. very classy. <laughs> shout, shout outs to Kongamunism and Sylvanas. Two Twitter accounts have just finding out about today. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't, oh man, you, you had such a good treat today. <laughs> so many good tweets to read. Oh, Ooh. he almost caught the mash out. There we go, solid forward smash. Not gonna kill though. Other side of the stage. So as Banana and Hands get one more trip. Not gonna get it. In fact, Adventure's off stage so far out that he dies to another stomp. The Kremlin crew looking so good right now. There's a potential for the Kremlin crew to get a three stock. Yeah. And it's climbing even higher. Communism, you can't trip. Don't let me down, please. If your tweet stars are as fire as your play, man, you might just pull out the stock. Not enough yet. Get some sort of command grab. Do it. Yeah, that has to do it. Yeah, one night at the ledge. Can't trip, come on, I believe. This is the one exception I'm making since <laughs> the buff Diddy crew. Because if the other ditties were this funny, I'd be all... <laughs> <laughs> you, you would never be on the Kremlin crew? <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I, I forgot that, that they had cantrip. Like, <laughs> I you, always, you give them I, that one I'm victory, right? I'm throwing in my eye patch, my blunderbuss. <laughs> I want cantrip to take this entire crew battle with one stock. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I think coming up next to the stream, I, uh, I thought it was... Uh, I thought it was Rivers. Oh my god. Formerly, no. formerly, formerly show your James. No, but Rivers is a Diddy. Yeah, he is a Diddy. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I, so River, River. I'm just I'm just realizing where we saw the, the arrows pointing. That's what oh, I, mean. I see what you're saying. Yeah, so then Rivers would be the one following up after Cantrip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, having Rivers in the wings, really good anchor. Yeah, yeah. that is actually that is a really great anchor to have in the wings. Yeah. Sits quiet. She's not on the camera, so she doesn't have anything funny to pull out. <laughs> she usually has a sign. She's not today, Sid. Huh? I feel like you lost your voice. She said something like, oh, I lost my voice. So, what, can, what more? Can, I didn't see anything. I'm sorry. Um, I saw 808 as the tag, which is why I was curious if you knew as a Socalian who yes, the player was. He was actually, I was running his pool earlier. He didn't get out of pools. Oh. Um, 808 is actually area code for Hawaii. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Oh, I was thinking 801. 805, 801, 805, yeah. which is, uh, you never heard that sign? 808's a heartbreak? No. Okay. 
That's all good, man. Don't worry about it. Uh, 805 is Oxnard. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking Cloud 805. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's why, that's why his tag is Cloud 805. I mean, yeah. He actually, he actually, um... Played he, Smash. He, yeah, yeah, he was using He's actually really good. Yeah. He was, he was the, um... Uh, I think he was using the hitbox and everything. That, that would make sense, yeah. Got ourselves the sumo stomps coming out from the Kremlin crew, 808. But Cantrip, gonna be go ahead and even this out. I didn't even hear the countdown from the crowd. No, I did not. Yeah, some very quiet stuff. I mean, the crowd pretty much understands. Yeah, man, we don't want we don't want the video to win. Stop this video pressure. Oh, just messing up that. Uh, you got the the trip on the platform. It's exactly what you want as Diddy Kong to start that infinite. Second punish right there. Nice trying to go for the back air. That's kind of the one thing I always appreciate about some of the cable mains. They like to use their crown and the blunder bus as an option to kind of push in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just kind of forcing that garbage compactor wall in your opponent's face. Nice blunder bus. Looking for the opportunity to move in. Good on Cantrip to be aware that the uh, blunderbuss suction forces you to fall through a platform. <laughs> but other than that, Cantrip keeping himself at arm's length. Getting real close to putting, uh, to getting a stock on the board. If he can keep up these, uh, these peckish hits. Yeah, Edo is slowly pretty much at 10% at the ledge at least. What? The downhill tilt hit K. Rule's belly, which meant that he had armor, and then I, he got suctioned off the leg. He was behind him. As a member of the Kremlin crew, can you admit that that was robbery? That was robbery. That was straight up piracy. <laughs> that was piracy. My man is actually like, <laughs> that is piracy, dude. That's piracy at its finest. That ain't okay. You know how much piracy that is? That's enough piracy to like bring back LimeWire. <laughs> that's enough piracy to bring back LimeWire for anybody who remembers that, dude. That, that's enough piracy. He's about to get sunk by like Sony's music studio just <laughs> entirely <laughs> off the weight of the MP3s he's been stealing. It's okay, we got Netflix these days. Yeah, we, we do. The, the, the Disney Plus, we got all that, other actually, streaming actually, services I, that compete with it. I want to give out a shout out to the first Spotify ever, Zune. The Zune Pass. If you guys remember the Zune Pass? You know what I remember is Napster. Yo, I remember Napster. Yeah. I remember getting the CD in the mail. Dude, we actually were really our age. It's not good on the stream. We're in an age where people call us boomers, man, we were really our age. Yo, we can be boomers right now. Yeah, we can. What are, you what, what, are they, what are they gonna do to us? Buy us a beer? I'm, I'm all for they that. They can't because they're zoomers. Yo, facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> facts. But we we have Rivers, as you were pointing at earlier. Yeah. The last remaining Diddy on the buff Diddy crew. Mm -hmm. Fantastic Diddy calling back in Smash 4. And he still brought out his Diddy in bracket today in singles. Yes. Rivers does have a lot of confidence in this character. I mean, we know him right now for his Krom and for good reason. Yeah. His Krom pushing that meta since day one, like actually day one of Ultimate. Mm -hmm. Rivers is already pulling some crazy stuff out there. But if there's anyone who can maybe take six stocks, you know what? I can see Rivers doing it. Yep. There's a reason why they call him Shoyo James back in the day, and that's when he main rocked the Diddy. Wait, what does that have to do with, with being he, good at Diddy Kong? He was Shoyo James. Yeah, he, but evolved, he evolved from Diddy Kong to become Rivers to be a main. Yeah, but then, like, what does Shoyo, the phrase Shoyo James have to do with being a really good Diddy Kong? I feel like it's the title of a really good Diddy Kong. Think about it for a second. What is what is I'm thinking about it. You gotta help me out here, Vans. I'm stuck. Okay, so let's go out to this game here, guys. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so we got ourselves Shoyo Jim's already establishing himself in the middle of the stage. Or uh, rather Rivers. Oh my god, See, I hate I you. I got you. I, I got hate you. you. That's what I want. That's all I wanted. You got me to call because he's playing Diddy Kong. Oh, I hate it. See what I'm saying? Uh, the legend of the of the Diddy Kong means Shoyo James. Vans, you win this round, but I'm gonna get the entire set. I mean, we were, we're both running because we're part of the Kremlin crew, and the Buff Diddy crew is actually at three stops. No, I switched to the Buff Diddy crew because I recognized Cantrip was on there. But well, he's gone now. And now it's okay. <laughs> we have Rivers, and he's already taking himself a percent lead right now. He's working on some great I, efficiency. If he takes the stock with less than 50%, Rivers is going to do this entire crew battle. Yeah. All you're telling me here is you're a double agent. 
Because now you're part of the Buckley crew? Look, I just follow where the fire tweets are. Uh, fair, fair, fair. Nice. He nearly off a down towards the corner. He wanted to cor corner to carry this man across the whole stage while he was at it. Rivers taking his time as well, not rushing things when he's in neutral. Knows how much every single hit counts. He can't, it, ideally, that's the only stock he loses. Like, he, he needs to win the rest of this game without losing a stock. Because three stocking the last uh, K rule is going to be white 18. Yeah. Having two stocks into the next Y2 is going to be pretty tough. He has to three stock this K rule. I mean, I, I get what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. It, it's basically has to two stock the K rule. But River signs his way back to center stage because of the banana. Beautiful. Oh, can he there get there? And he go. gets it and he pops Yo, off. We, no, it's not a pop off. It was his opponent actually sitting up to mash as hard as possible in uh, yeah. that situation. Yeah. And I saw, I saw him. He immediately got but, off of his seat. He did not want to be in that situation. 120% now. Rivers in a position to be able to take the stock at a very light percent. If he can just put on that extra bit of pressure, already looking for it with that down smash at the ledge, doesn't find it, and gives the Kremlin crew the chance to reset back down to center stage. But another chance. This river is going to find it. Hold Waits for a wake up, yeah. just disengages and catches the forward smash. Guess is the landing, rather, with the forward smash. And he puts the Kremlin crew down to five, pretty much four stocks here. You take the stock, I'm telling you. Buff Diddy can do it. Buff Diddy can absolutely do it right now. Running himself a couple hits, looking for that early oh, dunk. That is That's... devastating. That Nair alone might have won this entire thing for the Kremlin crew. Yeah. Taking that stock at what, 40%? You mentioned how it was piracy earlier. I mean, pretty much 808 was looking for that to be in, put into play for him. And talking about sinking your opponent's chances. He crossed the T right there. Yeah. Almost gets the forward smash, but unfortunately, this K will fall out to the ledge. I mean, for 808 here, it doesn't even matter if he pulls the victory. His next, there are chances next for his next opponent. Sorry, for his next member to pull it out. I like the banana toss to go into the forward air, too. Mm -hmm. Great pressure, and honestly, really good to understand it. Yeah. Now, 808s, and now with this ledge pressure with Diddy at 90%, he can actually get himself a kill That's if he it. gets the right oh. read. He doesn't read out the match. It, there's so many different things that Rivers could have done there that, like, it's so hard to do. But 808 still keeping on. Most of the stage control finds him the forward air, finds himself the kill and taste the crew battle for the Kremlin crew, their last member, their